When Ken Brunert got his dad's old work truck as his first vehicle, he found an instant love for all things diesel related. It didn't hurt that Ken's dad, a fabricator and a Baja racer, also instilled the values of the automotive industry in Ken at a young age. From there, Ken would make diesel work his passion. He went to college for mechanical engineering, and as a side gig while in school, he started Capital Diesel Performance, making compound turbocharger kits. Capital Diesel Performance officially became a shop in 2012 and is located in Windsor, California. The 3,000 square foot shop doesn't do oil changes or general repairs. Rather, if someone wants a thousand horsepower build or something custom made and designed for performance, then Capital Diesel Performance is where you want to go. The shop will work on Duramax, but Cummins is the real bread and butter of the shop. And one of the biggest and baddest engine builds the shop has ever done is a 6.5 liter Cummins, which is in Ken's own 2006 Dodge Ram 2500. We'll give you all the details in this episode of Diesel of the Week. This video is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Visit amsoil.com for more information. Hey everyone, I'm Greg Jones for Engine Builder, and today we're talking about Capital Diesel Performance's Compound Turbo 6.5 liter Cummins engine. When Ken initially got the 2006 truck, he ran a smaller set of compound turbos, a 363 over a 475, but set up 75% over injectors and managed to run low 11 seconds in the quarter mile. One season, I just said, you know what, I'm going to build the engine, and I pulled the engine out and uh, just started to go to town on it. I think the truck was down for maybe two or three years while I you know, got piece by piece, part by part made. That truck is built top to bottom by me. The 6.5 liter Cummins started with a 6.7 liter Hamilton solid block, they got sleeved and bored 20 over to a 4230 bore and paired with a 5.9 liter crankshaft with a 4720 stroke, which comes out to a 6.5 liter displacement. Inside the Cummins engine, Ken opted for Carrillo rods, a 15 to 1 compression diamond piston, total seal gapless rings, ARP head studs and fire rings, Hamilton 110 springs, Manton valve train components, and a Hamilton 207-220 camshaft. To give the 6.5 liter enough air, Capital Diesel Performance utilized a compound turbo setup, which included a BorgWarner S476 and a BorgWarner S591, with a TurboSmart 45 millimeter wastegate, Banks intercooler, Banks side draft intake manifold, and a Steed Speed exhaust manifold. The build also included 300% over injectors, from Dynamite Diesel Performance, a dual fleece performance 10 millimeter stroker pumps, a Waterman lift pump, an Exergy 2400 bar pressure relief valve, and an OEM 6.7 liter fuel rail. So it's a UCC style truck, so the truck is meant to hit the dyno hard, go to the drag strip and run low nine second, maybe even eight second quarter mile, and then do a full pull. Working on the sled pull hitch right now. We just did the four link for drag racing over the off season. Um, so it's supposed to do everything. It makes about 1,100. The wastegates are at kind of lower boost. We're shooting for around 1,500 horsepower. That should get us into the eight second territory, the quarter mile. So we've just got a uh, 600 horsepower nitrous kit ordered this last off season. So we're hoping to have that in before the next event in uh, Truck Mania in October. That one has all three, uh, you know, the dyno, sled pole, and drag race. Now that the 6.5 liter Cummins is all set up in the Dodge Ram 2500, Ken says the truck really rips. And we have no doubt that it does. And here's to wishing Ken and Capital Diesel Performance good luck at Truck Mania this fall. That does it for this episode of Diesel of the Week. A special thanks to our sponsor, Amsoil. And remember, if you have a diesel engine you'd like to feature, please email me at gjones at babcox.com. Until next time, thanks for watching.